Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries for the month of March. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March 2020. Uh, let's just see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aries for March 2020? What do we have for the sign of Aries? What do we have for the sign of Aries? Whoa. Take a look at that. If that isn't you. Okay, that is you. That is the Emperor. That is you. You are going to be right in your element this month. Stronger than ever. Okay, you're the boss. You're the leader. People are probably seeking you out for advice. You are probably... Uh, you know, you're strong, you're protective, you are knowledgeable, you're wise. Looks to me as though you have your mind made up and there isn't anybody that can change it. Now, this is a father, okay? This is a father or a husband or doesn't have to be a husband, could be uh, the masculine, right? In a relationship that is in control that has the power okay so you're going to be very this is going to be march is going to be a very powerful month where you are in control um it looks like though there isn't nobody that can change your mind and there isn't nobody that can uh overpower you by the looks of things i think you are definitely in control this month It's like, I feel like you, you are a rock, right? You are a rock. You're definitely going to be in the element. Not going to be showing any weakness. That's for damn sure. It's like you are ready. You're ready for anybody. You're ready for any battle, right? You are battle ready. You have a very tough exterior. Aries. What do we have for Aries? If you are a woman watching this, this may be your energy. You may be taking on, a, this is a masculine, okay? You could be taking on a very masculine energy or you could be coming into contact with this person. This is somebody that is, I mean the emperor, right? The empress is the queen of all queens and the emperor is the king of all kings. This is the father. This is the leader. This is the boss, right? I love you. I love you. I love you. These are very important words. I think this might have to do with children because before I started this reading, I was thinking about children before I turned on the camera. So I'm not sure if this has to do with children. It's about being... And the emperor is the father of the deck. And the empress is the mother of the deck. So uh, something... I think this might have to do with children. Um, but it could also have to do with love. I love you. These are very important words. But actions speak louder than words. Anybody can say I love you. But actions say it all. Now, you've noticed the number on this card is the number 20. Okay? 20 is the number of the judgment card. Okay? You could also be dealing with somebody that's, that has a birthday on the 20th. Or the 4th. 20 and 4 are very prominent numbers here. But anyway, 20 is the judgment card. 20 is about truth. This is about karma. It's being held accountable. It's being assigned responsibility. It's about forgiveness. It's a spiritual awakening. Are you ready to be judged? Okay. Maybe, maybe there's some sort of court where you're going to be judged. But 20 is also a life judgment. Is a life changing decision. 
I love you. These are very important words. You may be hearing them or saying them this month. This guy looks pretty stubborn, though. Doesn't he? What do we have for Aries? Are you getting... This is a celebration. This is a gathering, a celebration, a party, a get-together, an engagement, a partnership. You know, 11-11, you may have manifested a soulmate. This is a, could be a soulmate connection. This could be coming together with a soulmate. 20, the judgment is a reconciliation with somebody from a past life. It could be a past life connection or somebody you've been with in the, in the past. Somebody you've been with in a different lifetime even. This could be, you could be coming together with somebody that, you know, you're going to be married to. This is like a marriage card. This is happiness. This is contentment. If you are single, you could be meeting somebody at a gathering or you could be going to some sort of party. This is a party, a get together. Looks like there's a marriage, something to do with marriage. Okay. This is a yes. It's victory. Victory, success. This is a hero. This is uh, coming out of the war zone. It's time of peace and serenity and happiness. It's the end of a battle. <laughs> you are at the end of a battle. You have survived something. Or you, That's what I see. And you notice that light is so bright on that. There we go. You're at the end of a battle. You have survived something. Now, the Six of Wands, that is victory, that is success, that is a yes, yes, you have won, you win, you win, you win, you win. Oh my God, extreme abundance, this is home. Some of you may be moving home or going home or changing homes, there could be a change in your living circumstances, this is the, this is extreme abundance, this is this tens are also completions though so this could be the end of a family feud or the end of a a family problem that you've been dealing with there could be a change in the family dynamics the family hierarchy whatever you however you say that there could be a change in the family legacy this is prosperity abundance the ultimate okay the ten of pentacles it's financial success it's permanence it's long term uh comfort okay it's comfortable finding it's it's building a comfortable home this is also this could be coming into some sort of family money handing down it could be trust funds or family support or a family business It could be starting a family, marrying into money, something to do with money and marriage. Okay, money, marriage, home, commitment. I don't know what the hell is going on for you, uh, Aries, but it looks really, really, really good. There's an upcoming celebration and there's unexpected fortune coming to you. I think we should stop right here, don't you? It really, I mean, this, I can't even believe it. So something unexpected that is going to bring you some sort of, I mean, this is permanent, okay? It's permanent abundance, something that could last long term. Some of you are going to be getting an inheritance or you're going to be marrying somebody that has money. Or they're going to be marrying you. I don't know how that goes. Or maybe there was a marriage that was based on money. That could have been the case. Because this is, the tens could be completion. So the, this could be the end of a marriage that was built on money. I don't know. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> ooh and ah, ten of swords with the eight of wands reverse. Now there could be, so you could be dealing with somebody that's jealous. Eight of wands reverse, that's jealousy, feeling guilty. And somebody could be feeling guilty. It could have somebody that is jealous or somebody that is feeling guilty for something. 
feeling guilty for hurting because this is pain. This is very painful. This is feeling guilty for hurting somebody because look at the pain. We have somebody that has been stabbed right in the heart, right in the chest. Could be by a parent. So somebody is definitely, and this is like a death. Okay, this is like a death. And this is stopped, blocked. So this is painful. This is a pain. The Ten of Swords, a painful separation. This is a mental, physical collapse, a breakdown, a catastrophe, a death of a situation. feeling defeated it's over something is over there could be somebody that because the the emperor, emperor is very decisive somebody is making a decision to end something and maybe it's a marriage maybe it's a commitment hmm. this is the end of suffering though it's the end and this is this is victory after sorrow it's the end of the battle Okay, you've already been through the battle. The battle is over. Yeah, you're done. I know I can see that you were battle re ready, but I think this battle is over. And it, maybe it was a battle over money, battle over home, battle over, because this is the battle and this is the possession. So somebody may have been fighting over the money, fighting over the home, something like that. But now it's over with this. This Ten of Swords is a completion. There there could be somebody that is giving up. There could be something that happens that causes somebody to give up. I don't know if you're dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is loyal. This is somebody that is generous. This person is a hard worker. This person is a mother. This is Mother Earth. Very nurturing, very kind. This is a homemaker. This is a natural. She's down to earth. She's grounded. I don't know if you're dealing with this person. She has, she's valuable. She's st solid. She's stable. She's secure. She is a huge, look at that pentacle in her hand. It's huge. She, she's abundant. She's a hard worker. She's, she's stable and she's been holding on to her stability. She's holding on to her value. She's valuable. So I don't know if you're dealing with this person or if this is you. But this is a very wa valuable individual who is very down to earth and generous and abundant. This 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 queen does it all. She cooks, she cleans, she works. She brings the kids every place that they need to go and she looks good too. She has a garden. She's she's a gardener. And as you see the roses, roses are love, okay? So she, she has a lot of love to offer along with that value. So. Hmm. Seeing a new opportunity, new beginning. You have a new beginning here. Now this is letting go of, of holding on. Uh, in the past, we have somebody here that was moping, was crying over a loss, was having a hard time letting go of somebody, was missing an opportunity and regretting what had happened in the past. But now it's like I see, I see that there's another opportunity and it's seizing the new opportunity. Now interested to looking forward. So I think Aries, you have a new beginning. You're stepping into new territory. It's like you're stepping into some place you've never been. I see, I see you, this, I mean, the fool is freedom. You have a new phase. It's taking a risk, acting on impulse and stepping into this, um, arena with faith. It's like stepping into the arena. That's what I want to say. It's like, now you're, you're ready. You're ready to start over. You're ready to start fresh and you're being the given the opportunity to do so, but you're going to need to have faith and take this risk. So my advice is what I have to say is you're going to be presented with an opportunity. You're going to be presented with an opportunity to, uh, start something new, something that you have never done before. Um, this is an opportunity that is be, this is like the ace of cups that is being handed to you. Okay. Um, I feel like you may be a little fearful of taking it, but you've already, the word you've already been through the worst. Why not take a risk? Why not take this risk? Um, 
Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Swords reversed. So I feel like you are feeling insecure, right? You may be feeling like confused, but there's some sort of blockage here with these two cards. Now I don't know this this queen of this queen of pentacles in reverse is very stubborn. Very stubborn. And the two of swords lies being exposed, coming out of denial, some sort of lies being exposed will piss this woman off. Really bad. So the two of swords reverse is exposure. But it's also uh, being emotionally guarded. Fear and worry and anxiety. Being overly cautious. Trying to protect yourself. You may, you may be guarded. You may be afraid. You may be afraid. Somebody is afraid, whether it's you or the other person. You, Aries, you could be dealing with a feminine if you are the masculine here, you could be dealing with, and if you are the feminine, this could be you that is insecure. This, this queen of pentacles in reverse is insecure. She has, she probably has some trust issues. She may have jealousy issues, which you may hear about. So she may have jealousy issues, you know, she, she doesn't like, uh, to share. So anyway, um, hmm. But we do have somebody here that is seizing a new opportunity. Taking the new opportunity. That leads to victory and success. And extreme abundance. But there's fear. And probably a lack of trust. But this is an opportunity to start fresh. And step into unknown territory. It's like you're being given an opportunity for love and stability. Something permanent this month. And I, I, you are. You are. But I think there's there's fear. There's, there's, and maybe this person is fearful. This person may not be. Because this is lack of. Somebody's not communicating because they've been hurt so badly. There's lack of communication and lack of movement because of pain. So somebody has been hurt so badly that they just can't communicate. But anyway, this month, I, there's, there's, there's like a connection here. There is a connection here that is deepening because this is deepening a bond, okay? But there's, there's communication, there's some sort of communication barrier. And I think this communi there's this communication barrier because of previous pain. Somebody has been hurt very, 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 very badly. And maybe they've been blocked because this is blocked. Communication has been blocked because of pain. So when you, when you, when you stab somebody to the point where, you know, it just about kills them, you know, forgiveness is a problem. So, um... Looks like we have somebody here that has the power because this guy has the power. He has the power. He has the power to uh, bring happiness and start fresh. He does. But it's all about, remember I said, it's all about actions. Actions speak louder than words. So I think this month there's, a, there's an opportunity to start fresh and take a risk and leave all the past hurts and the past baggage behind if you can face your fears and step over step over the edge um it's going to take strength it's going to take strength it's going to take confidence and willpower you're probably dealing with somebody that is very kind and generous um This is a card of uh, mastering of emotions. Finding the courage to face your fears. You're going to need to find courage to face your fears this month. You are. 
So be prepared. Be prepared to be given an opportunity. Okay, you're going to be given an opportunity that uh, it's like this is like you could say this is the Ace of Cups. Okay, you are going to be given an opportunity that you are being told to take. Take it. Take this risk. You can help this person to build up their confidence and their self-esteem. This person that is insecure, you can help them. With those words right there. And, and, and you don't have to say the words. Actions speak louder than words, but the words are nice too. Good luck. And somebody may be saying that to you. I mean, it could go, this could go any way. But I feel like those words are going to be very prominent in this month. They're going to come up, put it that way. And when they're said, and when they're felt, it's going to be known. So, think about the fool. This is a new phase that is beginning. You are about to embark on a new journey. The fool is the very first card in the deck. That means you are at the beginning of a new journey. The very beginning. Good luck.